I gave a talk there a year ago on one of the monthly lecture series they have, and it concerns the history of Pahrump. And what they did is they put this in a little loose uh, uh, soft pack, and they're giving them away, and I'm signing them if people would want to have them signed, and it's to advertise the museum. So. You have such uh, abundance of uh, history here in the Pahrump Valley. What's some of the things that really stand out? What I want to do is I want to give Bob McCracken a lot of credit. You know, about 25 years ago, he started, the county asked him and, and, and paid him to uh, do histories of each of the towns in, in Nye County. Well, then he did a lot of personal histories of the people. Uh, and what a blessing that has been because, you know, at this point in time, 25 years later, there's not many of the old folks left, and so that would have all been lost if he hadn't put it together. In my opinion, that is a great asset for the valley. It really is. Tell me um, how the importance of preserving your history, of keeping this history alive is. What does that mean? Well, it, you know, it's very difficult to explain to a lot of people what, how this came about out here in the desert. It started out as, as a farming community, it was privately owned, and back at the turn of the century, the state acquired, well, the state acquired a lot of this land and sold it for a dollar and a quarter an acre. Now, why people bought out here in that early, I don't know, but they must have thought it was a grazing area, and the, the old Mant Spring was running big, and the Prump Spring was running big, and that kind of set a couple of colonies, and then things came along, 1948, the first cotton was grown and it was a profitable crop and that's what made Pahrump Valley. Why did you move here? Why? Yeah. To, to grow cotton. Uh -huh. I was born and raised in Mesquite, Nevada and my dad was a dairyman and I moved out of Mesquite to get away from milk and cows. <laughs> so I formed a partnership with him and we bought 840 acres for $30 an acre, nothing down. Drilled well and the thing flowed a thousand gallons a minute, no pump. That put us in business.